and the hat. Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah, yes, okay. And you can choose the one you like for each order in our shop. What's more, if you watch our live streaming to the end, you can contact our customer service and we will also send the gifts to you together with the order, the products you order. So guys, please remember to follow us to get more information about our welfare group. Put a catalog button to contact our customer service and talk with us anytime. And today we are going to share the role and function of piston and ring in the internal combustion engine as well as its materials. And now let's watch a small video about our piston ring production line. Okay, welcome back. First of all, I would like to know more about our company. So, Mini, can you introduce Welfare to the friends in front of the screen? Of course. Welfare Engine Parts Company is a group company having factory and offices. About our product, we develop a wide range of engine components like piston ring, piston, liner, and bearing gasket kit for various combustion engines for the commercial vehicle of highway, passenger car, and motorcycle sector. Our grain manufacturing capacity consists of four production locations in China, equipped with imported machine and product line from Japan and Germany. The factory main business are OE for big car manufacturers, 
the real Park Wang Zhou are doing business for aftermarket. And we are now supplying West of OE clients worldwide. So it is convincing that we have good experience working with clients and understanding the process of development and documentation. Guys, I believe that you have no more information for our Welfare Engine Parts company. If you have any question, please do not hesitate to, con to comment us. We will reply you once we read your message. Okay, now let's get, our, let's get to our main topic today, piston rings function and its material. We know that the working condition of piston ring in engine is very harsh and contradictory. Yeah. It bears the high, temp high pressure and high heat generated by the combustion chamber. In the comp uh, and that is to say, it needs to bear the resulting high mechanical load and thermal load, but also the relative friction movements with the cylinder wall and piston ring groove. Okay, now please follow me. Here, as you can see on the whiteboard, this is the combustion chamber which contains the mixture of oil and gas. And this is the piston with three piston rings. And here is the cylinder wall. And this is the crown case. So that's the whole picture of the piston and piston ring. Now let's simulate the working environment of piston and piston ring. Now please look at the piston in my hand. Here, there, is three, there are three piston rings on it. As you can see, here is a wide gap. It's a wide ring gap between them. But that's not actually how large it will be once it gets compressed within the cylinder. As I squeeze this ring, as you can see that, the ring gap has become can you see that? Yes, the ring gap has become quite a bit smaller, right? So in this case, the ring, the piston ring, is act, acting as a spring. It will expand out together with the mantle expand. So in this case, you can make sure that you have a good compression because the piston ring will expand out and meet up with the cylinder wall. So that it will give you a nice seal chamber for the combustion above. And here, these are two, these two rings, we call it compression ring. The main function of them is to seal the combustion chamber from the crown case. And it also transfer heat from the piston into the cylinder wall. And it also play a important role in controlling the engine ring, engine oil consumption. And the last ring, we call it oil control ring. It will prevent the excessive oil from entering the combustion chamber. Hi, Mi, can you tell me what's the function of the piston rings? Of course. The function of piston ring, to be more specific, it has four functions. The first one is sealing. As we can see from the whiteboard, we just mentioned that the combustion chamber must as tightly sealed as possible so that the mixture of oil and gas can push the piston downwards to the crankcase. So this function is called seal gas. Yes, as you can see, the first ring seals about 80 to 90 percent of the gas, and the second ring seals about 10 to 12 percent of the gas, and the oil control ring, the third ring, seals about 5 percent of the gas. Exactly, and the second function is the oil control. The oil control ring can, it can scrape the excessive oil from the cylinder wall into the piston. In this case, it can keep the oil consumption at the desired level at the desired level while reducing harmful exhaust emission. And here is the figures. Yes, the oil control ring controls about Eight, uh, 70 to 90 percent of the oil and the air ring controls only about 10 to 12 percent of the oil. Yes, and the third function is heat conducting. 
The piston ring will transfer the heat from the piston to the cool cylinder wall. And about the figure? Yes, the piston ring can transfer about 70% to 80% of the heat from the um, piston ring groove to the cylinder wall. Yes, and the heat conducting function is quite important to maintain the stability of piston and piston ring. Only this way can the gas seal function be maintained without damage. Yes, and I know the last function is supporting. The piston ring contacts with the cylinder wall, so it can reduce the wear between the uh, piston ring group of between the piston to in the cylinder wall. Yes, exactly. So these are the environment of the piston and piston ring. Now we know that these small parts can also make a big difference in the whole process of combustion. Yes. So what kind of material is the piston ring made of? Let me show you. Let's look at the PowerPoint. The first material I wanted to tell you guys is alloy cast iron. We also call it K1. Chromium, molybdenum, copper, and tungsten, vanadium, titanium, and other alloy components are added to cast iron to improve the wear resistance of the matrix structure. When there is no coating on the surface, alloy cast iron materials are widely used. And K1, this material is widely used in second ring and the oil rings. And we can see that this is the microstructure of it. The next material is called ductile iron. We also call it KV1. With high strength characteristic, it can bring a higher contact pressure to the piston ring to improve the sealing and oil scraper performance. It is an it ideal material for the design of the piston ring gas ring. When there is no wear resistant coating on the surface, its wear resistance is not as good as other cast iron widely used in first ring. We can see this it, we can see this is um, its microstructure. Yes. And the multi element alloy cast iron aka and high alloy cast iron F14 are also widely used for producing piston rings. Cast iron with more than a dozen alloy elements, such as chromium, micro, molybdenum, etc., has a higher wear resistance and fracture resistance than ordinary alloy cast iron, and its technical difficulty and cost are higher. This kind of material, like IK8 and F14, are mainly used in some high-speed diesel engine. And we can see this is the microstructure of it also. Steel is another UU material we can use to produce piston ring. Stainless steel, alloy steel, they have extremely high elastic modulus and bending strength, and the surface can be handled. When the surface is covered with a proper treatment layer, it can improve the wear resistance and the lubrication conditions of the piston ring and increase the anti breaking performance of the piston ring. It is a motorcycle material widely used in high-speed ga gasoline engines. Now, do you know how to distinguish these materials? Like, I don't know how to think. Uh, I don't know how to distinguish KV one and K one. So can you tell me? Of course, I know this is quite hard since visually they are the same. But we can use another way to distinguish them. That is to listen to their sound. Okay. Now let me knock on them and please pay attention to finding the difference. Now I use these three piston ring, and one is made of. K1 and one is made of KB1. And let me tell you some tips. Yes. If it is K1, the sound may be more clear. And if it is K K1, 
one, the side is more muffled. Yes, KB one is clear and K one is muffled. Okay. So let me show you. Please pay attention. Mm -hmm. This is the first one and second. Oh, can we try it again? Yes, of course. So please pay attention. Okay. And I want to repeat again. KB one is clear and K1 is muffled. Okay, the first ring. Yes. And the second ring. Oh, it should be the muffled one, right? Yes. So it's K1. Of course. Am I right? Yes. Yes. So this is that you can use this way to distinguish them now. Okay. I think it's very helpful. Guys, do you run it? Now we are going to show you some items for the piston ring. The key dimensions are ring height, radio thickness, close gap, and uh, change show force. Do you know which of these dimensions is most important? Mm, let me see, maybe ring height. Excellent. The tolerance to of ring heights in ISO standard is just um, minus 0.02 millimeter. Ceiling is one of the functions of piston rings that require the heights of piston rings. Must be strictly controlled within a very small range. And I'd like to use an example for you. Here, okay. this is our piston ring. Yes, as you can see, the model is OM441 yeah. and I'd like to point out the advanced skill of this piston ring service treatment. And then composite plane CKS. As you can see, it, it has a bright metallic silver, so it's so bright, right? And you can see its color is metallic silver white. Right? And this treatment would bring some ad advantage of our product. The first one is strong abrasion resistance, and the second is strong anti pull cylinder ability. And this performance will be two times higher than that of the original one. So, the K this treatment is quite important. Yes. Okay. If you have any questions, Please don't hesitate to comment us. We will reply you once we read your message. Okay, let me check now. Yes. And check whether you have comment us. Yes. Oh, I see. This fan's called Janice. And Janice, he is quite interested in piston. So could you tell me more about more about piston? Like uh, roll, etc. Of course. A good question. Thank you for comments, Janice. And it is well known that the heart of a car is the engine. And we have a picture. Yeah. Here. Here. This is a picture about the automobile automobile engine. The automobile engine is the device that provides the power for the automobile and directly affects the power, reliability, economy, emission and other technical requirements of the car. According to different power resources, auto automobile engine can be divided to diesel engine, gasoline engine, electric car model, and hybrid power. So now we know the importance of the engine, and what about the important, the most important part, or we say the heart of the engine? Which one? Yes, it is piston. Yes, it's piston. We know that piston is also one of the most key components of internal combustion engine, function of it including accepting the huge pressure created by ignition of fuel and air or compressed air or mixture. Also passing these forces to crankshaft, rear piston, pin and connecting rod. In addition, providing guidance for the convert small end. Other function including transmit heat to the liner through piston rings. For the piston, the
The key dimensions are compression height, total height, ring groove width, combustion chamber volume, skirt diameter, and pinhole diameter. Oh, but this size may be too professional. Can you explain them to us? Yes. Compression height is distance from pinhole center to pin top surface. If the top surface of the piston is machined, the tolerance is plus and minus 0.05 mm. If the top surface of the piston is a cast surface, the tolerance is plus and minus 0.1 mm. Yeah, that sounds more clear. And now, by the way, I would like to show you one of our pistons. Yes. So we know that piston is quite important in the car. And this is a kind of fork steel piston, which is quite competitive since its material, fork steel, is of high quality. The piston height is further reduced, and it has high bearing com capacity of the pin hole. And it can also withstand high temperature. It also has the characteristic of small clearance and a low air linkage. Okay, thanks again for your comments, Janice. If you watch our broadcast to the end, you can contact our customer service and we will send a gift together with your order. Okay, guys, I believe that you have got more information for key dimension of the engine parts. So please follow us and to be our fans, put the catalog button to contact our customer service to get more information for the item or stock list if you want. Yes, also we will suggest our good news to share with you guys again. Yes. We have prepared an exclusive two-week discount just for you, which can be used for today's stock items. You can, as you can see, 10% um, discount for rings and 5% discount for pistons and liners. Besides, if you follow us to be our fans, we will send you the well found new design material gifts. As you can see, the bottles and the caps, right there, the caps and the t-shirts. There are a lot of gifts you can choose. Yes, we can give you these gifts for each order in our shop. So next, I will share you guys for our welfare material gifts. In order to encourage dealers to better promote our brand welfare in local market, we have prepared some material to help you. Now let me introduce the gift to you. Okay, so the first one, this is our welfare backpack. Yes. Is it cool? Yes, you can put your computer and our welfare bottle on it. I like the red one, <laughs> it's quite beautiful. So you can put the bottle on it. Yes. And it's very light and you can carry it to work. You can also wear our fashionable welfare hat, especially when you forgot to wash your, wash your hair last night. So <laughs> let me show you. I like this hair bag. And please contact us if you want to uh, know more about the information and the gifts of us. Are you interested in our materials? Please leave your message below and contact us after this live streaming. Okay guys, this is the end of our live show. And congratulations if you watch our live streaming from the beginning. You can contact our customer service and we will send the gifts together with your order. For more about the stock list, and welfare gifts, you can also contact our customer service. Yes, and our topic for next week is Cylinder Liner on July 29th at the same time. Thank you for your time and please don't hesitate to follow us. See you See next you. week. See you, bye bye.